The two-minute message preview this week at the non-denominational New Hope Olympia is ready or not, here I come. Remember the days when you were a child, and you played the game hide and seek? As a child, I enjoyed playing hide and go seek. Have you ever considered the game of hiding and seeking parallels to the second coming of Jesus Christ? Children enjoyed playing hide and go seek. They loved it no matter if they were hiding, trying not to get caught, or if they were the ones seeking, who was trying to catch those hiding unexpectedly. Remember that the seeker was called the it. And the it would close their eyes and count to twenty, giving time for the others to hide. As you were hiding, you could hear the count. One apple, two apples all the way, to twenty apples. Then the it would yell out, ready or not, here I come. Four things were always inevitable about the game of hide and seek. One the it was surely coming. Two the it was coming when they were good and ready and not before. Three the it was coming whether you were ready or not, and. Four if you were not ready, you would pay the consequences. You may not have realized this, but this hide and seek game illustrates the return of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Paul exhorted the church at Thessalonica and us today about the importance of readiness. Hear what Paul wrote to the believers gathered in Thessalonica. His words are written in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Now, concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you, yourselves, are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. The Return The second coming of Jesus Christ is one of the most repeated teachings in all of the Bible. Christ will return. The fact is obvious, it is a certainty. The question is not if Jesus will return, but when will he return? And Paul answers this question very clearly, no one knows. Jesus proclaims this truth as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew but of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 44, Jesus warns, Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not expect him. So, how should we live in the light of His coming? Pastor Dell, in his weekend message, Will. We'll share four things we need to do and then six things Jesus tells us to do.